you want to move a row. Now, the quickest way to move a row is to select the number on the far left. Say we want to move this Amanda Lee up to the top. Go over to the left where there's a five, that's the fifth row, and click and drag. Once it's an arrow, click and drag it up. And we can now have Amanda Lee at the top. Now, another way to do this, and maybe what you're doing now is insert a row. Let's move Noah Davis. We can Command C or right click Copy and then select the third row where we've inserted a row and paste and now come to Noah Davis and we can delete that row. I want to show you one extra way to move a row. Let's say we want Mia Wilson at the very top. Let's insert a row above. But with Mia Wilson, we'll select the row and we're going to cut. This is the command X on my computer and I will paste. Now, what this does is it will automatically delete and clear the contents of the row it's coming from. This is very useful if you want to maintain sort of the places where these rows are or the state of these rows or the order of these rows. Now if we have deleted this row, the tenth row still exists but it, all the rows under it are moved up. So when you're dealing with data and moving data around it's very important to know why you're moving it around and what is the repercussions or effects of that. If we were selecting certain people here based on the row, we may not want to actually move any rows around or reorder them in any way. We may want to keep them ordered. So what I like to do is Command X, go to another sheet, and start pasting them here. And the order of all of these remain the same. We just cut a couple out of it. So depending on what you're doing with data, hopefully this makes your Google Sheets experience better. You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how to's, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is going to be your next Google Sheet.